Morning everyone. I expect you're really pleased to hear that this is our final lesson on subtracting fractions because next week we're going to move on to multiplying and dividing them. I told you there were going to be a lot of fractions in term three but what you will be really pleased to know is you haven't done all the steps of subtraction because each night when I've been marking your work I have been so impressed with how quickly you've grasped it and shown me you understand it that we've actually been able to miss out quite a few steps as we've gone through without even telling you. So well done, give yourselves a great big pat on the back because you're doing amazingly. Keep up the good work. So this is the last step and you're going to absolutely fly through it. There is, this is a tiny weeny step. You've already done the hard work. You've done the big grasping of new understanding when we're subtracting mixed numbers, having to subtract both parts of the mixed number. When we have to regroup an integer to give us more um, parts so we can do our subtraction. Those are the big steps. Those are the ones you have to really get your head around and understand. This again is just pulling together things that you've already done. So you've subtracted mixed numbers across the whole where we have to do some regrouping where they're nice denominators. One's a multiple of the other. So the final baby step is to do it just with mixed denominators. So I like to start with a story you might have noticed. So I was thinking about Safi today, my fat cat that you don't see very often. She's not invisible, she's very fat cat. Um, and I have got three and a quarter boxes of her favourite biscuits left. Now she eats one and a third boxes each week because she is quite greedy. Anything you give her, she eats. So I want to know how many boxes will I have left next week? I'm looking at difference, I'm looking at subtraction, okay? So I'm starting off with three and a quarter, and over the next week, she is going to eat. So I'm gonna have less, I'm going to take away one and a third. Now, I suspect already you can do this. So I'm gonna do it, and I'm only gonna do two examples today because it's all you need. So, if we think about steps, the first thing is partitioning. So three plus one quarter minus one, and remembering we're taking away both parts of the mixed number, so minus one third. That's our partitioning step. Next step, who can remember what it is? It's reordering. So I'm going to group my integers and I can see three minus one is two plus one quarter minus one third. Right, you can see exactly where this is going now. We're going to find our common denominators. Two plus I know the lowest common denominator, the lowest common multiple of 4 and 3 is 12, so 3 twelfths minus 4 twelfths. Now if you can't see them in your head yet, you don't need to worry at all, but once you've worked out that your denominator is going to be 12, you could go, okay, so 4, I'm going to multiply that by 3, so I'm going to multiply that by 3. So then you can see that you've got your three twelfths and four twelfths. Okay. Um, so partition, regroup and find your common denominator. Now all we need to do, sorry reordering that was, that was me confusing myself and probably you. Um, we've reordered it, now we're going to regroup, we're going to exchange one of our integers. So I'm going to leave one as a whole. I'm going to exchange the other one for 12 twelfths, which will give me 15 twelfths. I need to take away four of them, so my answer will be 1 and 11 twelfths. So, I could get another week's worth out of there as well, but I think I need to go to Home Bargains and buy some more. I'm going to do one more for you. If anybody is struggling, you know where to find me, you know where to send me a message, I can always go through more individually. 
and this time I'm going to use different denominators. So I'm going to say, I want to know what the difference is between 4 and a sixth and 2 and 3 quarters. Okay, what's the difference? Subtraction. Step number one, partition. 4 plus 1, 6 minus 2 minus as well the two thirds okay now I'm going to reorder 4 minus 2 is 2 plus 1 6 minus 2 I've done oh, no 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 I've changed my numbers totally here where have I put two thirds from sorry guys three quarters minus three quarters. That's because I haven't got you here to shout out and say, Mrs Sinclair, I think you've gone wrong. Okay, four and a six minus two and three quarters. Four plus a six minus two minus three quarters, because we're taking the two and three quarters away. Um, four minus two is two plus one six minus three quarters. Right, we're back on track. Sorry, everybody makes mistakes. Um, so now I'm going to find my common denominators. 2 plus, right, okay, so 6 isn't a multiple of 4, 12 is, so I'm going to use twelfths, and 1 6 is 2 twelfths, and 3 quarters is 9 twelfths, 2 minus 9, we know we can't do that, so I'm going to exchange one of those, so I'm going to have one integer left, plus, 12, 13, 14 twelfths, minus 9 twelfths, my answer will be 1 and 5 twelfths. There we go. I think you've got that already, I'll be honest. Um, but as I say, any problems, let me know. And next week, we're moving on to multiplication and division. I'm looking forward to seeing your work. See you soon. Bye-bye.